bravery. When I was young, my parents devised an interesting way to teach me how to save. I was given three different tubs, much like this one, and had to divide my allowance into each one. One of the tubs was for the church I attended at the time, and that money would go towards my tithe. One of them was fun money that I could spend however I wanted, and one of them went into a savings account that I don't think I ever got access to. I guess you could say that that savings lesson didn't really pay off. But if there's a subject that needs teaching, you can bet that there's some software that was developed to teach it. I don't remember if it was at my house or if it was at my school, but I distinctly remember playing Money Town. Released in 1995 for Windows 3.1, 95, and Macintosh, Money Town is the brainchild of Neil Godfrey, best-selling author of Money Doesn't Grow on Trees. I'm sure you've all read it. It's an American classic. Fun and funds go hand in hand when you put your money where your mouse is. Okay, that's enough of that. Really though, who is Neil Godfrey? Godfrey, and why should we trust her in her obsession with puns? Well, good thing we asked, because she included a video guide with the game to give us all the information we could possibly need about money management, and of course, herself. Neil Godfrey, frequently seen on such shows as Good Morning America, The Oprah Winfrey Show, and The Today Show, is not only an expert in family finance, but also a parent who puts her advice to work in her own home. Wow, this is so interesting. This is a very in-depth video guide, actually, providing parents extra information to help teach their kids about money management. Your child's allowance should be divided equally into three jars. Oh my god, it was you! Welcome to Money Town, the land of financial education. Ironically, Money Town is horrible at money management because the park budget has been cut and it needs to close. This is awful! The park is the only place for us kids to play! Yep, there really is nowhere else to play. No giant open fields of green for children to run around in. None at all. Is there anything we can do? What will it take? Well, I guess it takes money. Well, yeah, that would make sense. I mean, money is... Oh God, what's happening? Money, money can help our dreams come true. Okay. Money, money, there's so much it can do. I don't know about you guys, but I seem to recall money being the root of all evil in most children's media. Wealth is usually paired with greed, and you're only going to sing about it if you're a greedy villain. It's a bit odd to hear a song about the positives of cash. And some smart decisions, our good fortune will shine through. Okay, I think the only thing creepier than this song is these kids are just standing here motionless waiting for it to be over. Like, yeah, you already told us money was the answer. Do we really need a song about how money is the answer? Or maybe we could just move on. Let's learn. Let's earn. It will be fun. Okay, I think it's over. Money. Jeez, how long is this song? We could earn the money. I bet you could earn it. Okay, so we're gonna educate children about money by telling them that they could probably earn enough cash to fund a town park. Don't see what could go wrong there. Can you help us? Who are you? All right, well, I'm Ian. Let's meet the other characters we'll be putting up with today. Meet Penny Bright. When you click on a character, the creepy old owl introduces them, but he talks for like an hour and says nothing really important, so I'm just gonna do it for him. There's Small Change the Rabbit, On a Budget, the... I don't know, gerbil maybe? Penny Bright the cat, Dollar Bill the dog, and don't worry if you think that name is too ridiculous, you can just call him Buck. There's Shortcut, who is Penny Bright's little brother, so I guess his name is Shortcut Bright, which is just absurd. Finally, we have the old owl dude. Oh, thanks ever so much for clicking on me. Oh god, we gotta get out of here. Money Town consists of three houses, a recycling center, which is also where the gerbil thing lives, and a box? There's also the park we're trying to save, which looks beyond neglected. Like, did a war recently happen here? First stop is Small Change's house. Hello! Ugh, that's quite an unfortunate voice you've got there, Small. May I call you Small? Oh man, I'm good. Listen to this! Oh god, please no. Side pins make So do you have to memorize an entire song about money to live in this town, or is Stack It Up the latest song that I just missed because I don't listen to the radio? Stack it up! Stack it up! Oh yeah! Stack it up! 
This kid sounds like a smoker. To make money with small change, you have to play a mini game in which you ride a vacuum cleaner to suck up coins and then deposit them into the bank. That's it. That's the whole game, and I'm pretty sure it goes on forever. If I remember correctly, this was my favorite part of the game way back when, so brace yourselves. I made $2.34, which... Yahoo! What a chunk of change! Were you trying to say words? Because your voice just sounds like a really, really long sneeze to me. Gazoontite. Catch you later! Once you've got some money banked from playing minigames, it's time to head to the large tree in the middle of town. This is where you can spend your hard-earned cash to fix up the park, which will cost a whole $74. You might be wondering why we don't just reach up and pull some dollars off this tree here, or even just pick up the money that's already fallen onto the ground. But the real question is, does money grow on trees or not? Like, make up your mind, guys. Godfrey. Might as well just start with the cheapest thing and reseed the entire park for just a dollar. What a deal. The park looks a little less disastrous, so at least there's that. Next up is Penny Bright's house. She and her little brother Shortcut actually provide some pretty gripping dialogue for a kid's game. Hey, you interrupted me. Well, you interrupted me. Did not. Did so. Did not. Did so. Did not. Did so. Did not. Did not. Did so. Shortcut Bright is fascinating. It's like every time I see him, it just makes me think, why? Why are you even in this game? I love to take shortcuts, even though my big sister Penny teases me. What are you even talking about? Shortcuts to what? We earn cash at Penny's by playing a computer game, she wrote. So we're playing a computer game about money inside a computer game about money. Abed would love this. The game is just a quiz show, and it looks like she even programmed a couple of her friends in. She really nailed Anna Budget's facial uniqueness. The quiz show is probably the best part of the game. The questions are usually pretty basic, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't learn anything while I was playing. Also, how would you like it if all game show hosts responded with, well, I knew that, every time someone got an answer correct? Sounds miserable, right? Well, I knew that. Well, I knew that. Well, I knew that. All right, let's see what Buck is up to. It costs 100 pennies. I'm gonna buy that truck. Singing about a truck, of course. Why not? Mm, I'm driving off the highway. My wheel gets stuck. Oh, yuck. Two quarters and ten nickels. We'll pull it out of the muck. That's what the tow truck driver said. What kind of insane dimension is this that you can get roadside assistance for a dollar? If you were to lift one of the solid gold bars being used as a walkway, you would be set for life. In fact, why are we paving the streets with gold when we can't can't even afford $74 to keep a park open. And now, starting for the Green Street Greenbackers, dollar bill, Buck. Buck's game is horrible. You just click on the correct coins to kick the football through the field goal that's for some reason smack dab in the middle of the football field. That's it. All right, time to see what's in this giant box here. Hi, we're the birds from Decision Street. We're here to make some change. Oh, well, this sure seems like it won't be annoying. The game here is to just pick the right coins to make each row match the dollar amount listed. It's just like making change as a cashier, and it's probably just about as fun. I wanted to put up a swing in my backyard. Went to the store to buy one. Price tag hit me hard. I haven't called it out specifically yet, but on a budget's eye is obviously trying to run away from the rest of her face or something. Or did they just do it on purpose because they think that's what poor people look like? Call me old fashioned, but I live within my means. She's even singing a song about not being able to afford things. Like, it's sad, really. She probably needs more funds raised for her than the park does. Being broke is such a sad time. Her game is recycling themed for no other reason than to remind you that she literally lives in a recycling plant. And it's just a matching game. Nothing really worth talking about. You know what? I realized we never actually listened to Penny Bright sing. And as much as I know it's going to be horrible, I feel like we should suffer through it. That and I kind of want to see that rug with a picture of herself on it, which she clearly made so that all of her guests would be instantly sure that she is clearly the most pretentious person in the room. I'm energetic and athletic because my pace is so frenetic. I have no time for wishes, hopes, and dreams, just firm ideas, plans, and schemes. She's not even singing about money. She's just singing about herself. I will analyze it and extract the nitty gritty with my tail strategically curled. 
That wasn't even remotely about money, but I feel like I got a great lesson on how to be completely full of myself. Let's just get out of here. Money toe. An error has occurred in your program. To keep working anyway, click ignore. Ugh, I haven't saved. Come on now, don't crash on me. Ah, damn you, Money Toe! Welcome to Money Town. My name is Butts, and I'm here to teach you that the only thing more important than saving money is learning how to abuse the system. Sure, you could do some cleaning or recycling to earn some cash, but why do that when you could just randomly click on trivia answers? There's no penalty for wrong answers, and the game never ends, so why not randomly click on the screen until you have enough money to fix the park? The park is saved. The end. No real effort required. It's a amazing what one can do with a little elbow grease, or feather grease for that matter. <laughs> you really know what you're doing. Our town has put up a statue in your honor. That's great! I just love what you've done with the park. You're the best! Thanks for helping us. <laughs> you've saved the park! <laughs>